All right, so I left you hanging last time because we were able to push data to Firebase, uh, but we haven't re we haven't seen it even change locally. All right, uh, and part of the issue for that is that um, you know we didn't want to display it because it doesn't have a key assigned by Firebase, right? So if we had if we had added it, well, that'd be great and everything, but what would its key be, right? If we later on when it went to go ahead and, and delete it, for instance. Um, so what we actually do is is we put in a listener uh, so that, so that when it hears from Firebase. Uh, that, that something was inserted, uh, it's going to add the quote then. And if you're concerned about round trips times and lag and all that stuff, uh, don't worry. It, it really is uh, almost instantaneously. Right. Uh, so basic, the, the, the main issue here is that we want to be notified when a quote is added. In fact, when a quote is added or deleted or changed or anything like that, uh, we want to know. Uh, so I mentioned here that, that a quote um, is a child of the quotes path. So here's the path. And you see that it, that it has different uh, different children within here. Okay, um, so we're going to listen uh, to events that happen, so insertions, removals, all that kind of stuff on the children. So in Firebase, there's something called a a child uh, event listener, right? And that's where we're going to do our our work. Okay, so what does that look like? Uh, so in inside um, inside here, when we when we make our new Firebase. The very next thing we're going to do in on create is we're going to we're going to add what's called a child event listener, okay? And we can uh, again, like like most other other uh, places, you get your choice as far as how you want to set up that class. I like to make mine inner classes within my uh, within my um, recycler adapter. Um, again, it sort of keeps it close to to um, to the data. Uh, so I'm going to make a, a what I'm going to call a quotes child event listener. That's going to implement uh, the child event listener um, interface, right? And so doing that nested class is, is kind of neat. So let's do that now in our code. So we're going uh, back to back here, and I set up the reference, and I'm going to say my my movie quotes ref um, dot add. Let me see here. Add child event listener, uh, and we're going to make a new quotes. Um, using quotes plural um, because it's listening for changes on on any one of the quotes. So it's a new quotes event listener, and it says I have no idea what you're talking about there. What is a quotes child event listener? So let's declare that right here. So a quotes child event listener uh, is a class that implements uh, the child event listener. Uh, let's see how much more I'm gonna give it here. So, so child event uh, listener. There it goes. Um, interface. All right, that's that's part of Firebase. Uh, and we'll go ahead and finish stubbing that out. And it'll ask us if we want our methods. And it's gonna it's gonna stub in a whole bunch of a bunch of them for us. So let's let's put them in uh, those five, and then we'll kind of kind of take a peek at them real quick here. So we have child added, changed, removed, moved. And then uh, there's on and an on cancel there. Okay. Uh, oh, this is good, right? Because if we think about uh, what CRUD does, right? So we can create things, um, we can update them, um, we can remove them. So these kind of things, and we want to be notified when when each um, each things happens. And it's kind of nice that they're all separated out here. Uh, you'll notice that the first parameter to all of these is a data snapshot. So we should should talk about what what that is here. Okay. Um, so data snapshot, right? So uh, what a snapshot is, if we take a look at it here, is, is essentially just a, a key value pair. Um, so when you're passed in a snapshot, right? So say you just push something to the Firebase, it created a new one. Uh, it's going to give you a snapshot of the, the movie quote that was just created. Uh, and you can get its key, the one there that was created with push, and you can get its value. Which is the one that, that essentially we just sent up to, to Firebase, right? So our, our model object. All right, um, snapshots can be at, at different levels. Um, when we get into more complicated data, we'll, we'll, we'll go through some more complicated examples. But for now, you want to think that, that it has a get key and a get value. Those are the most important things. Okay. Uh, so, with that in mind, we're, we're going to um, take a look and write the code for um, on child added uh, to, to see uh, what, what we're doing. So going back here, child added. All right, so I have a, a, a data snapshot. And what I need to do then is to, um, to um, first of all, 
uh, find out well which one was was added, right? So uh, I'm going to make a model object. So my movie quote. Okay, so uh, movie quote, and we could just call this guy quote right here, and this is going to be from the data snapshot. I'm going to call get value. And get value, as you'll see, is, is overloaded a, a few different ways. If you just call get value, it will return you an object. Uh, but if we pass it in the class uh, that we want to convert it to, this is like a hint that that um, that we're sending to, to, to Firebase, and specifically to Jackson, uh, where we say, hey, you know, hey, value, we know that you're a JSON object, right? So will you please convert it to, um, to this particular class that I'm going to pass in? Uh, and it will gladly do that because that's what the library is for. So, so let's go ahead and do this. So movie quote um, dot class, All right? And you remember that that the quotes themselves uh, don't have keys in them, right? So this is the quote. This is get value. I also want to get the key in it, so I, I can set that directly. So I'm going to say um, I want to set the key for later use to be the same key uh, from the snapshot. Oops data uh, snapshot dot get key right. uh, now I've got a quote with a key in it now I, all I have to do is the things that I used to do when I added added things which are, are to basically take um, and add it to the uh, um, to my local list here I'm going to add them as they come in I'm going to add them to the beginning it's actually going to give me an order that's reversed from how they're stored in the firebase but for some reason, since since the uh, the keys are essentially timestamps, uh, this will put the newest ones on the top where I want to see them. Um, so that's 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 all I'm going to do here. So I'm go ahead and stick in position zero, and I'm going to uh, notify uh, the data set that it's changed. I don't worry about the um, about the animations here. Uh, it seems like it's it's it's. Uh, possible. We, we think that there's a way to get into a race condition with that, especially when we're doing a lot of uh, insertions all at once. Okay. All right, so I've got, I've got my app running, uh, I've got my forge up, and I actually even have the, 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 web, uh, the web client here. Um, and first thing you notice, uh, this is like magic, right? So, so all of a sudden I'm getting quotes, right? So, that, so that's crazy. Uh, so at the time here that, I, um, that we made the adapter, Right, we basically we, we set up this listener, and then every so Firebase is pushing out all all this stuff to us um, from the back end, um, and we're just adding them one at a time, right? So so um so we're 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 getting them all, all right? So uh, very 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 cool. Um, all right, so let's let's go ahead and add another one here. So I'm gonna add one in my uh, in this guy, and we'll add a quote. Uh, so let's see, let's do. Um, carpe diem. All right, so let's see. Let's spell that the right way first of all. Thank you, autocorrect. Um, and this guy was from uh, Dead Poet Society. Dead Poets Poets Society. All right, and I'm gonna click OK here and watch this. Here we go. Uh, and you saw that it made the the new one right right here. Um, let's see this guy. Uh, this is actually troublesome because I'm actually pointed at the wrong one. I I cut everything over back to to Bautel movie quotes. Um, yeah, so here it is. Uh, well, that's impressive. Um, so do we mean if I if I removed stuff from here? So let's try this. So I'm gonna edit. So let's go ahead and get rid of the 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 Star Wars one here. So delete delete and then it deletes and oh I haven't told it to, to listen to deletes yet well, I'm gonna have to write something for that so this is only for ones that it thinks are, are added right uh, we'll get there right. um, so there's our code here and again it's it's the code the code that we wrote on child added is only called when it when a new quote is is added under here uh, so some comments right so we ran it uh, we got everything there uh, magic all sorts of good stuff here. Um, <clears throat> we mentioned that Firebase had offline uh, capabilities, and really what it's doing here is it's calling the listen the listener even before it makes the round trip, right? So so it's it's very optimistically saying, you know what, I'm going to be sending this up to the Firebase, and it would be coming back anyway. Uh, so it actually calls um, calls the listener locally, right? So 
we can actually see our changes immediately, even if we're offline, right? So let's let's test this right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my my phone and actually put it uh, take it offline, All right? So uh, come back here. Oops. Um, oops. Yeah. Okay. So uh, take this guy offline. So I'm going to go ahead and go into airplane mode. All right, and we'll see that that go there, and we should see the 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 network connection on the top. Uh, we got the airplane, so it's it's not not here. So I'm going to click plus, and let's just uh, add a quote, and I'm just going to give it a couple of default values here. So quote and movie, and let's see. So I haven't clicked OK. Let me bring up my forge here, and actually we we should expect not to see it here because I'm offline. So that shouldn't connect. Uh, so we click OK, and no change here. You see that, that we have no quote uh, or, or movie. Um, but they are showing up here um, just locally, right? So, so it actually um, it did hear the change that we were sending to Firebase. Okay. Uh, and let's see, I could make some other changes. So let's just, um, well, I guess what I really want to do is I want to go ahead and take this guy out of airplane mode. And so give it a second here to, to regain its, its network connection as we see this, this guy right here. And let's see, it'll take a little bit uh, for, it to, for it to restore connection. And there it is, okay. So uh, very nice, okay. So I, I, I think most of that delay there uh, was was just it sort of coming coming back online. Uh, I will mention that that it's certainly possible to get into some weird conditions here, right? So so what if someone was editing that same item uh, when I was offline? Uh, then it, then it turns out that and we 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 messed around with this um, that the latest change wins, right? So so a later change will just basically overwrite um, all the other stuff. So you so you kind of want to be careful uh, when when you're when you're doing this here. Um, it doesn't really care when the 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 um, the, the things were actually changed. Um, it cares about when it when it when it gets it here. So so an edit to a, a deleted item, for instance, is actually going to bring it back, right? So I delete an item. And I'm telling it to push a deletion here, uh, but then I make an edit edit to it. Um, it actually comes back, so the the latest thing. Uh, so so very very interesting. So uh, that's all we got for now. Uh, next time we'll come back and we'll do that remove. Mm -hmm.